War Diary, day 494 of Russia's war against Ukraine. This spring in Kiev, in the normal place I have breakfast, this woman came and was up to me. She said, hi, you John Sweeney? Yes, and I bring out my silly orange hat. And she smiles and she says, my name's uh, Victoria Amelina, and I really like the kind of little uh, Twitter uh, video films you've been posting. Thank you. And she explained, I'm a writer, I'm a, I'm a poet, but I've actually given that up for the time being because i am become a war crimes researcher. Um, and one of the amazing things Victoria did was there was a, a poet, a man, who had vanished, and um, she worked hard to find out what happened to him. And he'd been shot in the head, um, two bullets into the head by the Russians. But he'd managed to keep a diary of his months under occupation before they killed him. And he managed to bury the diary uh, near a cherry tree in his back garden. Victoria got in touch with mum and dad. And together they dug up the diary and she was able to publish it for the poet posthumously. So she was not just a, a storyteller, but she had great spunk. She had something. She had real courage. Um, I can remember uh, after we traded numbers, I think, I like this woman. I'd be lovely to meet up with her sometime. She offered to um, she, come along to her on one of my, uh, one of my trips, and I, I said, yes, yes, yes. Never got round to it, diaries, all that kind of stuff. Anyway... A week or so ago, she's in the Ria Pizza Restaurant. It's a lovely pizza restaurant in Kramatorsk, which is the nearest town to the front line near Bakhmut. Um, you can't drink there, it's under martial law, but you can have a lovely pizza, and I've been there many times. The Russians send two cruise missiles. They kill at least 10 people, two twins, 14. And Victoria, she died uh, this morning, very early on. Vladimir Putin, do fuck off.